So welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well. This video is uh, all about tapering for a race or tapering for a specific race that you've been training for and being, you know, 100% prepared when you get up on that start line. And yeah, it's quite a tricky, um, tricky thing to kind of wangle your way around race week. Uh, should you be training hard? Should you be training easy? Should you be doing no training at all? Uh, we're going to go through all of that. It's a little bit of a different video, this one. Uh, I'm going to kind of implement kind of how things are going here uh, with Rachel Klama. She's leading into a race. So I'm going to kind of use that as an example, as well as show other different ways of how people can taper going into a race. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, go ahead and like this video if you can and subscribe um, so you don't miss out on any of the content coming up. And yeah, hope you can enjoy this video with me and you can take something from it. First thing I'd like to say is that no one size fits all uh, when it comes to tapering for a race. Everyone's different, so you got to usually go and try and test a few different types of things and you find out what really works for you. Uh, and you can kind of stick with that once you find out what works for you. But we're going to go off kind of Rachel's what, way of tapering, the way I taper and the way I've heard some of my other athletes taper. So yeah, Rachel Klammer is uh, off to Leeds this weekend uh, for a World Triathlon Series race. And she had a race last weekend, so she, you know, it all also depends on if, you, if you're racing multiple weeks in a row. Uh, or if you are, you know, preparing for one specific race, uh, what you want to kind of do is, you know, look weeks before or months before type of thing if you have that time available for you and see, you know, when you want to kind of start tapering for the race, what's the distance of your race. So a big thing is kind of the duration. The longer your race generally is, um, kind of the earlier sometimes you'll start tapering or kind of recovering uh, for that type of race. And uh, everyone's obviously, as I said, slightly different. So, you know, what works for me might not work for you. And yeah, I'm pretty certain once you've just started, uh, you probably know very little about tapering and periodization and, you know, how to prepare specifically for your races. So, you know, hopefully this is going to help everyone out a little bit, kind of get some uh, idea onto how to taper for that, you know, specific A race or, or, you know, a kind of really important race that you're trying to nail. And so the way usually we'll head into taper week, uh, there's kind of three really important things you need to look into when it comes into taper week to kind of nail the week. Uh, and the first one is to be recovered as much as you can. Um, you definitely want to be kind of as fresh as you can be when you when you line up on the start line, mentally fresh, physically fresh, nailed in nutrition, had a good training sessions before, positive. That's kind of how you want to lead yourself into your races. And yeah, it's definitely, you know, it takes a couple of years and a couple of races to kind of figure out what works for you uh, to be able to taper. But definitely, yeah, I think it's um, something specific to, to, to every person, um, how much you should taper for each event. But generally what you want to do is you want to scale back your training kind of anywhere in the region to kind of 20 to 40 uh, percent on your volume. So you kind of want to back, you know, uh, remove a whole bunch of your volume from the training and, and it's definitely important to make sure that you get as fresh as you can um, you know in two or three days leading up to that specific race um, so obviously you can remove the volume but then you need to you know replace that volume with a tiny bit of intensity so Rachel's week is quite different to, to other athletes out there obviously she does swim bike and run so in the start of the week, she'll generally do some hard running session or kind of six by one minutes or 10 by one minutes, something in that region where she gets the legs up to speed and she gets a little bit of that feeling of what it'll be like when you race on the weekend. So you definitely want to keep the neuromuscular and keep your, your legs firing as you kind of lead up to your race. On the biking front as well, uh, she'll do some cycling, some sprints, some uh, one minute, two minute efforts as well uh, leading into the race. So she also did that. And then in the swimming pool, uh, if you're a triathlete, then definitely you want to get some intensity in during the week to make sure your body doesn't go to sleep. That's kind of the first thing you want to do is make sure the intensity and the duration of your week is uh, specific uh, for you. And you kind of write that down and you know every time you're leading into a race that this is how much you want to do leading up to a race. And you can kind of see how that race goes and you can kind of play it from there to see how the race went. 
It doesn't always mean that your taper is the most important thing, but it definitely can be the make or break when it comes to being fresh enough for your race and not having burnt yourself out uh, in the days leading up to your race. Um, a lot of athletes get a bit scared to take it easy, but yeah, don't, don't be scared to take it easy and really let, let your legs freshen up. They'll definitely, uh, definitely be happy when it comes to race day when you let them do that. And so the second most important thing when it comes into your taper is uh, not to train too much and not to overtrain. I've seen quite a couple of athletes sometimes flogging themselves right up until race day type of thing the day before. They know they, they're a little bit, say, scared, but they definitely they don't want to let go of the intensity. And um, obviously, as I said, every athlete is slightly different. Uh, so the second part of this is some athletes um, need more training leading up to a race to be fresh, and some athletes need less training going up to a race. You've got to find out which one of those athletes you are for yourself. The tried and tested one always works. So say for Rachel, she'll need a little bit more training, a little bit more intensity type thing leading up to a race uh, than I would. I preferably train a tiny bit. The volume gets taken back, but there's still some intensity, but not as much as Rachel needs to kind of keep things ticking over and not to get stale. So the important thing to make sure is you don't do too little training leading up to the race, where if you do too little training, your body will become stale. And what happens then is you'll go to race day and you won't be fired up and your legs and your body won't be in a good rhythm and you won't be able to find that good race pace like you usually would be able to. If you overtrain, as I said, you're gonna go through the race and you're gonna have very heavy legs. You're not gonna respond well and that's also not gonna go well. So your intensity and your duration, how hard you lead into the race is, is very, very important. And to say the third most important thing leading into your taper week or your week where you recover just before your race is mentally obviously prepare. You need to make sure that you're mentally prepared for the race. The worst thing is going into the race, not being prepared for it at all. And you kind of go in a half ass type of thing, whatever you need to do to get yourself mentally prepared for the race a day or two beforehand, give yourself the time, take it easy, relax, uh, you know, a happy athlete is a fast athlete and a good athlete. So yeah, I definitely think the psychological part of things is really, really important for taper week. Of, you know, whatever you need to do to make you happy, you know, if knitting is your thing um, or going and driving your car and burning the tires out is your thing, you know, you go ahead and do that if that makes you happy. For me, generally, it's kind of relaxing that thing. Uh, a really nice hot bath and a glass of red wine for me is my per my personal go-to when it comes to two or three days before a race. So if the hotel's got a, a bath and I can find red wine, I'm a happy man. So everyone's got their own thing. Obviously, be relaxed as you can heading into the race. And taper is extremely important for any athlete and for anyone who really wants to do the best they can and obviously feel the best they can when it comes to the show times and to the big race because I like everyone on my channel so much. Number four, you didn't think it was coming, but here it is. Uh, I think that I find really important uh, for the taper week is definitely to, to schedule your week out. So you must know every single day what you want to do, uh, your intensity wise, you kind of schedule your week out well so that you know when your travel days are as well. Your travel days are kind of some of the most important things too. You've got to factor in your travel. If you're doing intercontinental flights, if you're flying locally, if you're driving for hours on end in a car, factor that into your week. Uh, make sure that you have enough time to recover when you get to your destination. It's quite important that driving for hours on end in your car, your legs are going to get very, very, very stiff and sitting on an aircraft for 10 hours and plus, you're also going to get very, very stiff. So just make sure that you give yourself enough time, you know, three days type of thing, four days if you're, if you're traveling locally wise, internationally, if you've got jet lag, you've got to affect all these things in a little bit. So give yourself time and make sure that you obviously get there to the start line as fresh as you can. Hope this video helps everyone. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe if you can, uh, as well as throw a comment down at the end. It's always great to chat to everyone, hear everyone's uh, input and yeah, see you guys shortly. Cheers. Second most important thing when it comes into your um, taper uh, is, I first got to think about that.